hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it is your south african professional nurse z i hope you guys had an awesome weekend thank you thank you thank you thank you to my 315 subscribers thank you for the comments thank you for the likes thank you for sharing the channel with your friends and family to anyone that is here for the first time welcome please click the subscribe button to be part of the family so this is what i've realized about youtube i'm seeing people's videos whom i didn't subscribe to their channels so make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you may be able to get a notification every time i upload a video because sometimes you might not um, see my video on your feed so hit that notification bell even if you are a returning subscriber and you did not hit the notification bell please do so so that you may know every time i upload a video so today's video is definitely definitely worrying it's a concern and it is for the healthcare workers let's get into it but home healthcare workers i have like few questions for you ne? if you are a healthcare worker and you're watching this video this also include student healthcare workers if you are a student nurse or a medical student and you are watching this video i also want you to get on the comment section and tell me where do you stand regarding today's topic today's topic it is about hepatitis healthcare workers do you screen yourselves for hepatitis that is the number one question please answer the second question is do you take the hepatitis shot? The third question is, do you know what hepatitis is and how do you get it and what happens once you have encountered or been infected with hepatitis? Please answer these questions down below, guys. So, why am I bringing up this topic? I recently went to a workshop, I think it was last week, on Tuesday yes last week on Tuesday I went to a workshop and the workshop was about Dolutegravir an ARV drug that is coming in in South Africa so we went to that workshop and since there is this new drug that is coming in also the department had to revise the um, art guideline so there's a new guideline that is coming actually it's already out I, I have it on my phone as a software and because of this new drug we were trained Uti, what is the new drug its side effects why are they bringing it on board and yeah basically we were just discussing the cons and the pros of dolutegrave and there is something else that they've added they've added a guideline for hepatitis i i don't think we've been having a guideline for hepatitis i've never seen one um, but there is a guideline for hepatitis that is coming that is out already but I don't have it so we were in a room filled with doctors um, nurses as well as pharmacists and the presenter or rather the facilitator asked a question which is how many people have um, screened themselves for hepatitis guys only two people rose their hands literally two only two guys like in a room filled of medical officers, professional nurses, pharmacists, and everybody that gets to come in contact with the patient. I think we were about approximately 50 or 60 in that room. And only two people, guys, the entire whole boardroom, only two people had screened themselves for hepatitis. The other one had screened themselves like two weeks prior, and the other one had screened themselves in 2016. Only two and the one who screened themselves in 2016 had gotten a shot and the one who screened themselves two weeks prior had not taken any shot of hepatitis and the rest of us i'm saying us because i'm also on the people that didn't uh, screen themselves for hepatitis and people who were not taking shots for hepatitis the rest of us in that boardroom we did not screen ourselves and i am talking people who have experience in working with patients like doctors who've been practicing for 20 years nurses who've been practicing for more than 20 years at least in nahe i've been practicing for four years four years plus the four years that i went to school eight years but uh, that's a lot guys as healthcare professionals we are not screening ourselves for hepatitis we are not even getting vaccinated we don't see it as an agency we don't see it as a significant thing to do in fact i don't even think it's hepatitis only we as a female healthcare workers we don't do pap smears 
that's the honest truth like our colleagues are dying from um cervical cancer guys colleagues who preach cervical cancer every single day to patients are dying of cervical cancer like we're seeing it happening in, in south africa you see it happening in your colleagues and we are not why are we not taking care of ourselves as healthcare professionals what is it is it because we know and i don't know we are not terrified you know the lady who was presenting uh she said i am literally getting goosebumps from this response that you guys are giving me that you guys don't get um checked for hepatitis i remember when i wanted to apply for nursing in uj uh, they said something about going and getting vaccinated like they expected us to come vaccinated with um hepatitis shots and but at nursing school i think it was also mentioned but we didn't do it and nobody cared to ask us if we did it uh, to provide proof that we did it no nobody did and we continued with our lives as we are still continuing with our lives of not getting vaccinated but each and every single day we are coming in contact with the human fluids so let me tell you something about hepatitis once you find yourself with the hepatitis infection just know that you will have to take ten off of air for the rest of your life so you are as good as hiv positive um, and remember, we don't have the secluded turn of air on its own. We are having the combination, the, the fixed dose combination, um, which is your tetanamine. And uh, that is the combination of amitriptycitabine as well as turn of air. So you are going to take that drug for the rest of your life. Yeah, you are going to take an ARV for the rest of your life if you are infected with hepatitis. And also, hepatitis can progress into carcinoma. It can progress it first goes to um liver cirrhosis and then from liver cirrhosis it can pro progress to carcinoma and that leads to death so hepatitis is not as simple as we think it is as healthcare providers please guys the facilitator who was telling us about this actually even encouraged us not even encouraged she begged us to go back to work the following day and screen ourselves for hepatitis and i had to go back and and take bloods shout out to andy Le, the community service nurse who's in our clinic she literally <laughs> didn't hesitate when i told her how important it is for us to screen ourselves for hepatitis so me and her got ourselves screened on wednesday so i'm waiting for results and i'm hoping i'm gonna check them tomorrow and find out Ukba, where do i stand and if i am safe i am gonna go and get my first hepatitis shot so what i know about uh the hepatitis shot is that you get one each and every single five years however with the new guideline that is coming things might change the interval between the shots might change but as far as I know and the information that I got right now is that every after five years you have to get yourself vaccinated against hepatitis. Healthcare workers, I love you guys so very much. If we are not here, nobody will be here to save lives. So please, can we also do the same for ourselves? Can we first save our lives before we can go out to save other people's lives? It is not wise to pour from an empty jar if you are dry and empty you've got nothing to pour to your people so i encourage all the healthcare workers to go and check themselves student nurses student doctors please guys check yourself for hepatitis screen yourself for hepatitis and get the vaccine guys it is significant women women who are healthcare providers when was the last time you did your pap smear Guys, if you are HIV negative, you only have to do your pap smear once every 10 years. When was the last time you did your pap smear? And if you've never done your pap smear, please, please, please take time out and go get yourself um, booked for a pap smear. If you are HIV positive, you have to do your pap smear every single year. The other thing that is also very much important is HIV tests. Healthcare workers, you don't test yourself for HIV. I don't know why. You guys are the worst when it comes to screening yourselves against diseases. But yet you are the number one people who are exposed to all kinds and sorts of infection. But you guys don't take time to go and screen yourself for different conditions. I, yeah, well, I've screened, at least I've screened myself for TB. And the funny thing is when I screen myself for TB, even if I get cough check, I don't send myself uh, my sputum for, for microscopy and for gene expert. Why is that? 
you will see that you are coughing you will see that you've lost a bit of weight you would see Uba, you having night sweats but dololo dololo coughing out sputum and sending it at laboratory for examination we don't do that i don't know whether it's laziness or what is it but this video it is just to beg all healthcare professionals to take care of themselves take care of their well-being to take care of their health before they can try and render that service to other people i love you guys so very much if you are here for the first time please 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 don't leave this video without hitting the subscribe button if the button is still red you haven't subscribed so hit that subscribe button and then you will know Ukba, you have arrived then unpack your bags you are part of the next z channel thank you all for tuning in i'll see you all in my next video